Yo, what's going on guys? This is Zayo and today I'm back with another Valorant tips and tricks video Now this is top five secret tricks in Valorant that you probably don't know that are extremely useful And is guaranteed to get you free kills and easy wins now There's a couple more than five tricks in this video, but it's a little bit different variations Plus it makes a better title if you say top five tips and tricks so you guys get some bonus tips in here Please hit that like button and that subscribe button for these tips and tricks. I got a couple of these tips from different people, so their links will be in the description. Anyway, guys, this is your number one source for Valorant tips and tricks and to help you guys improve, understand the game, what to practice, and overall just secret things that you might not know about. So please hit that subscribe button so you're updated with all my future videos and I can help you guys out more in the future. Anyway, guys, let's hop right into it. All right, guys, so for this first secret tip, I'm going to show you guys some boosts on Haven. You're going to need a buddy for this one. You're going to need a buddy that's playing Sage, or you could be the one playing Sage, and then you either need to play Jet or Omen in order to boost on top of the ice wall. But if you have your Sage stand where my friend stands and just look up on the wall, he's able to place a wall, and you could jump on top of it and actually see down long A and you could see into the window at heaven on a which is pretty op now i'm also going to be showing you guys a couple more of these boosts you can actually boost and see down mid uh if a jet or something hops on top of those boxes at mid you're gonna be able to directly see her and sniper or if you're jet and you have her alt you can actually boost into the air and float in the air and hit anyone directly at the mid doors there's also a boost on split that i'm going to be showing you guys so make sure you use this trick to your advantage all right here's a super cool trick that you can do with the sage's slow now as you know when you throw her slow you literally can't move right well if you actually throw another one in the same exact spot as soon as the first one goes away look now i can run at full speed guys this is an insane trick and you could definitely catch people off guard and i think it will actually work with an enemy sage as well so say an enemy sage is camping behind this wall and he throws his ice like right here or something wait a couple seconds and then throw your ice on top of it i'm not a hundred percent sure if it works with another players but i think it does um, now, then you want to walk on top of it. As soon as his disappears, yours is still going to be on the ground. And you'll be able to just run straight through it. Because when you get that slowness effect from standing on top of the ice, when you throw the second one, that doesn't register on your character. So you only have the slowness from the first one. So once that runs out on the first one, it's like there's no ice there at all. However, if you get off of it and then you get back on the second one, it's going to re-register the ice and then you're going to be completely slowed. So definitely take this to your advantage. And if there's a guy there, like I said, if he threw his slow and you throw yours on top of it, all you have to do is step on his and then don't move. As soon as it goes away, you're going to be able to run full speed. You can even shift walk and he's not going to have a clue because he's not going to hear the ice. And you can just shoot him right in the back of the head. So it's an extremely useful trick. Uh, I think it's a bug. I'm not 100% sure. I would take advantage of it now because if it is a bug, it's going to get patched. Uh, like I said, I don't know if it is a bug yet or not. I'm pretty sure it is. But it might not be. Who knows? Now another really cool trick with Sage is, as you see, you can barely move on this ice. Well, if you actually B-hop like this, look how fast you get through her ice you can go extremely quick whereas if you try and walk through it look how unbelievably slow this is how loud it is but all you have to do is b hop and you can get right through it and it can definitely catch people off guard if you b hop through and then you pop a guy right in the face especially if you have a shotgun or something you're really going to catch the guy off guard all right guys so here's a really cool one-way smoke trick that you could do with viper and jet it works much better with viper because their smoke lasts much longer but basically you're going to be able to shoot the enemies and they're not going to be able to see you at all you're going to be able to see their feet uh now if you're viper you want to jump on top of this box you want to just walk until you're aimed right on this corner and you want to throw the smoke right in this spot now i'm going to let a guy show you who i got a clip from um so shout out to him link will be in the description pop onto this box right here look straight down position yourself right in the corner and toss your smoke grenade you're going to want to right right click it 
right where these two pieces meet each other you're going to want to underhand throw right click it right there it's going to land up up on that little piece when you pop it it's going to act as a one-way smoke allowing you to shoot the legs of attackers while from their point of view they can see absolutely nothing at all and you can just get free kills but if you're jet what you want to do is walk pretty close and once you see this sign aim a little bit below it and then once you back up, as you can see, you can see their feet. So you're going to know directly where they're at and be able to shoot them. Meanwhile, since they can't back up, the smoke's going to be right in their face. And they're not going to be able to see anything. I'll show you from their view. Throw it right there. Here's from their view, guys. Look, they can't see anything, no matter what. So you're going to be able to... This only works with Jet if you know they're pushing fast. Just place it there and back up and you get free easy kills. Now with Viper your smoke lasts a lot longer so you could throw it there and wait a while and that's definitely going to get you some easy kills guys. I 100% recommend you use this trick. You can even go from this angle so that way if they're around the corner a little bit you can still see them. It's a really effective trick. Alright boys here's another secret trick that you could do with Omen. Now, if you use his shrouded step, which is teleport, you can actually trick people and make people think you went through this teleporter. You guys know how it makes that sound. And then there's going to be people mid just camping teleporter waiting for you to come out. Or if they're waiting behind this corner and you're on defense, they're going to think a player went to mid and they're going to start pushing through. Well, what you can actually do is you pull out your shrouded step and you jump into the teleporter. And before your guy goes through in midair, if you click, you'll actually teleport right back. Now, let me show you. You jump, click, and go through, and you teleport right back. It still makes teleporter noise. They're going to think you teleported, but you didn't. And it's easy to do. And I want to do it right here where they're able to see from that angle. I would teleport over there like this. And it's a really cool move. You could bait out enemies, trick them very hard. It's going to get you some easy kills, easy frags, easy wins, boys. All right, boys, now on the map Haven, if you are Silva, you can actually get a really good, really good recon bolt right onto B site, right off spawn, and it's actually going to show you the location of any enemy that's in B anywhere. So what you could do, you want to come back here, go to the second little uh, thing right here. I don't know what it is. All right, and then turn around and look straight down. Then you want to move right about here ish okay now charge it fully up and you want to put your crosshair so right where that yellow part meets the brown part put it right in the middle and then just go slightly to the left and shoot it now that's gonna bounce off the roof like three times and as you can see on the map it's perfectly on b um i don't have a second player to show you guys unfortunately um, but as you can see, there's little windows right there. It will come through. It'll bounce off. I think this wall then that wall And it'll stick somewhere somewhere on this wall and then it shows the entire area of B So if your teammate wants to snipe from mid or peak mid right away And there's a guy camping in here You're gonna know his your teammates gonna know right where the guy's at if you shoot that bolt and can easily just peek and kill the guy camping here very easily he's gonna know right where he's at it's a really good trick guys i highly recommend you use it if you play sova on this map all right guys here's another really cool trick that you could do with sova now this isn't something you're going to be able to do 100 percent of the time like most of these other tricks but it is something pretty cool that you could do now this whole wall is wall bangable you could spray right through it uh, if there's a guy up in heaven he could just spray you after you plant he'll know right where you're at and he could kill you so if you're say you're the last guy alive and it's a 1v1 1v2 i don't know anything in that situation as soon as you plant the bomb if you're able to you can actually charge this hold your right click so it bounces and just shoot it straight down and then do it again so now you got two in the air well this is actually going to go really high up in the air so now you have time to fight or whatever let's say you die the guy's like oh let me defuse the bomb boom a dart hits him right in the head and if that doesn't kill him boom another dart right in his head and it could possibly kill him and win you the round so that's just something really cool it's a little blooper trick but it's something most people don't know about and it would be pretty cool if you could pull that off
All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for these top five OP tips and tricks. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that like button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. This can be your number one channel for Valorant tips and tricks on helping you guys improve, learning any secrets, and anything else of that nature. 